Hey guys, this is Paul with ConvertingCopy.com, and today let's talk about Tweet Adder. Now, this is Twitter related software which you can use to automate a number of your different Twitter tasks. So, you know, I've talked in the past about why Twitter is important, why you should use it as a marketing tool to get your, your branding, your product across, and to promote your website or whatever it is that you're doing. And I'll link to that uh, in this post so you can check out those resources. But right now, let's just focus on Tweet Adder itself. Now, I've been using this for about, I don't know, over a month. And on my one converting copy account specifically, and I've been using it, I just upgraded my license to five different licenses, so now I can, I've just added on four more Twitter accounts, four different niches which I'm in, but, um, so I just, I literally just did that the other day, so I figured I would make this video and share my experiences over the past month. So, as you can see here, from my Converting Copy account on Twitter, I have 852 followers right now, or I'm sorry, 888 followers. I'm following 852 people. So you can do this very easily to build a very substantial and massive Twitter following. So what I'm going to do is I'm signed into this account right now, my converting copy account, so double click on that. And this brings us to kind of the main page for your account, whichever account you're on. And I'm going to show you right here we have just a list of different options we can do over here on the left sidebar. So let's just go down each of these one by one and you know first we have our two follow list so this is a list of people which I have right now which I have set to follow next and you can see I found all these people using the phrase online marketing. So we go to tweet search and this is where you can start to do some of the automated tasks so if you turn this on to automation to be automated, then what you do is you type in the keywords that you want. You can choose a specific location and then a radius within that location, or you can just leave it blank and you know have no location whatsoever. But it will search out any Twitter users who are mentioning this keyword phrase that you typed in in their tweets, and you know it'll go search by location if you use that. If not, like I said, it'll just go across the entire internet, and then you can do recency you can do languages and then you can add as many automated searches as you want down here at the bottom and it's very easy to do and then you can even search right now to collect uh, Twitter usernames of people who have used your search phrase in you know whatever settings that you've turned on so very easy to use and this will just keep building a massive database of Twitter users who are talking about things which are relevant to whatever it is that you're promoting same thing for profile data so we can type in keywords and these will be keywords which um, will be in these people's profiles so if they mention that like their biography or something like that then we know that these people are interested in, in whatever it is that we're talking about so these people would be worth uh, going after as well so we have the same option here with location and then you can get kind of more nitty-gritty with number of followers and updates and things like that so come down here location search and these are all pretty straightforward you can just uh, like here with followers of a user you can type in a Twitter user that you know you maybe think is very relevant to what you're doing and then you can just get a massive list of their followers and you know follow them and and do other things which I'll talk about in just a second but getting someone to follow you is the best way to get them or I'm sorry, following other people is the best way to get them to follow you back. And when you do follow them back, you can send them a message, which I'll get to in a second, or, you know, they'll be noticing the kinds of tweets that you're sending out too. So it's very effective, and it's completely automated in using Tweet Adder. So, you know, I haven't had to worry about uh, doing any kind of Twitter management except for making the posts that I normally make anyway. So I just do what I'm normally doing and Tweet Adder builds my following for me and markets to them as well, which I'll show you again in a second. So very comprehensive, very powerful automated software, which I recommend. And we'll just keep going down here to the follow and unfollow users. This is another automated task which you can do. So you can turn it on or off. 
and you can have a maximum number of people who you'll follow each day. You can set a time delay so it doesn't look, you know, quite as automated basically. And it will kind of randomly go in that time frame. And then you can even set a uh, a ratio of when you want to stop following people. So when you're when the number of people you're following gets to a certain ratio versus the number of people who are following you, you can set that and it'll stop following people at that point until you get more followers or you know however you set that up you can go either way as you can see right here or you can just manually do you know 20 instant follows uh, set your time delay between them again to make it look not so automated and we have the same for the follow back option so if someone follows you first kind of you know independent of tweet adder then you can turn this on to be automated or you can automatically just click this and do it all at once yourself and it will follow back however many people that you want to do at a time and there you go so you don't have to worry about losing those followers if they followed you back first so you follow them back and let's come down to unfollow so you know um, if people follow you or I mean if you follow people the first time I'm gonna talk in circles this whole time if you follow someone first in the hopes that they follow you back and it doesn't happen you know after a certain number of days then you can have tweet adder automatically unfollow those people because you know that's kinda of the point of tweet adder you want people to follow you and to do that you ask them or you follow them first so if they don't follow you back after say five days which you can set right down here then it will automatically unfollow anyone who you followed in the past five days but has not followed you back so that undoes that and you can choose the uh, the exact time frame that you do that and again we have the time delay settings so again it looks natural and you can turn that on or off or automated or you can just do it all at once manually right there come down the tweets and this is kind of where we can um, automatically automate our sending out of tweets and we have the same thing like for the RSS feed I don't use these features and retweets and replies so these are all things if you mess with that kind of thing then this can be powerful for automation I mostly just use it to build my following and this next feature which I'll get to right here and the thank you message so everyone who follows me is sent an automatic thank you message thanks to tweet adder and it says you know thanks for the follow and then sign up for my 10-day fast track training course and it gives uh, my URL for where they can do that so they can uh, I can build my email list or at least have a better chance of building my email list because of these thank you messages so I know not everyone checks uh, direct messages when they receive them but for the people who do this is a great way to market to them and you know every new follower you get it's a good way to get whatever you're marketing to them right there to them in this message so then we can do check for follow new follows every 18 to 29 minutes so it'll send those uh, messages out pretty much immediately but yeah so very very powerful and then you can come down here and let me maximize that so you can see that we can uh, search trends you know so we have like daily trends of what's going on weekly trends and you know you just come down here and find out what's trending right now and use that to your advantage so like I said um, I just upgraded my account so it comes with uh, five now when you first purchase tweet out I think it's forty seven dollars you get just uh, one account access so if you want to upgrade to the next four to make it a total of five then I think it costs like another nineteen dollars or something like that so it's you know the difference is very negligible and you know they offer just tiers like that so you don't have to pay the full seventy four dollars or whatever it is for the five users you just upgrade your existing account so you can do that whenever you want if you find that you need more accounts later on you can just upgrade pay the difference and that's all you gotta do so um, you can also just look at a few other things you have like your settings you can choose to only run automated tasks between a certain you know certain hours which is important again in making things look natural and not so automated so you can do that and you can update your following and followers list program every 30 40 minutes that's what I have it set to uh, you can 
put in some proxies if you have them, which is important if you're juggling multiple accounts at once. So if I go back to my overview, you can see, like I said, I have five accounts, and um, they all they can all work at the same time, essentially, doing their automated tasks. So, you know, all five of your accounts can be following people back and following new people and unfollowing people. But if this is all happening from, you know, your IP address, then that's going to look a little suspicious and can probably get you in trouble. So they recommend that you use proxies, and specifically, you'll see here, uh, private proxies. So Twitter has been blocking uh, public proxies, so they recommend private. And, you know, it costs a little more. It's, you know, you can get it for, I guess, a few bucks a month for private proxies. I know some, some of you guys probably already have that for other tools that you use, but if you have those... You can just, like I said, load them in right here in your settings, and yeah, it's very simple. And then you even have a black and white list, so you know you can blacklist certain IDs if you do not want any interaction with them. Then you can whitelist to make sure that you know they don't get unfollowed or something like that in this category here. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, tweet at her very, very great for building a Twitter following and you know a number of other uses which you saw here in this video so it's really whatever you want to get out of it but I completely recommend it I think it's it's well worth the money and yeah I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video learned something from it and I will see you guys next time <laughs>